Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I make a column in Archicad with Morse. Uh, I found a picture on Pinterest and I'm gonna drag and drop it here. I'm gonna use this picture for scaling. So let's see how, how much is. Okay, I'm gonna keep this proportion and this dimension. But I don't really care. So here I am on ground floor, but I'm gonna have to move this into a section. First, I want to make a section. I'm gonna use this point here as a okay. I'm gonna. Right, okay, I double it. I'm gonna open the section. I'm gonna drag again that picture in the section because here is where I'm gonna draw the lines that are gonna help me make the column. I'm gonna use a polyline that's gonna be red because I can see it better this way. So the column I'm gonna make is this one in the middle. First, I want to draw these lines. Okay. What I want to do, I want to use this polyline for all the contour. So I'm going up, then again I'm going to make a point here. Well, I don't really care what happens on the other side because I'm going to make a half. So it doesn't really matter what happens on the other side okay now i'm going to drag this up and as you can see when i go up here uh, the column is slightly smaller on, uh, up on the upper side again i told you I'm not going to use this half, I'm only going to draw one half and then you'll see what happens. Okay, I need to make another point here to make this one bigger. And this should be rounded, so again, I'm going up. This should be straight. I'm gonna try to make it straight. Holding shift doesn't really work. I think this one is straight now. I don't know about the other one. Now it's good. And I'm gonna round this finish here. And then again, I wanna make a line. Okay, what's happening? Why oh, can't go up? Good. Now that I made this half, I'm gonna try to find the middle, which is this one. 
great. What I want to do, I want to make a fill. I'm going to hold space for magic wand and I'm going between these lines here. Oh, what I want to do is delete. Okay, no, this is. I'm going here and as you can see, I made a fill. I'm going to move the fill in this direction and I don't need any lines now, so I'm going to go to polyline, control E to select all the lines I draw. Polyline. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Morph and make sure you select the one geometry method revolve, which means is it, it revolves around the center and with the morph selected I'm holding space and the magic wand is uh, when you hold space the magic wand is activated and click and now it's going to make me pick the line of the middle here it says 180 you're going to make it 360 degrees so it goes all around and now let's go to generic perspective as you can see we have a column and it has the properties on the one we on the picture we have found on Pinterest what I, I want to show you something else about the base of this so what I want to do is I'm going to select a morph and I'm holding space. When you hold space, you can select a face or you can select a line like this, which makes blue. But I want to select this face and I'm going to drag. And I want to use the push and pull tool. And I'm going a bit, I want to make it smaller. So like this. Okay. This base looks good. Now I want to go to the ground floor and find. This is my column. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move this section here, okay? And I want to make some morphs. But let's see how big I want to make them. So here, to here it says. To point two, so I'm gonna press R and I'm gonna write at the dimension one. I'm gonna write 2.3 and with tab or with a down arrow going down and write 2.3 and enter. Now I have square that's gonna be this is the middle of the square, this is the middle of the circle. This should be our base, but I'm going to make it, make it slightly bigger, slightly with, let's see, 10, press R, and 0.1, which means 10 centimeters. So this is going to be the base I want, but I want, to I want this base to have uh, something similar to the section, well, open section, and this is our column. What I want to do, I need to copy this square here, copy to this section. So I know it's going to be like this. I made a copy without. Intending to okay, and here the base needs to be a bit smaller. Okay, what I want to do again, I'm going to draw only a half of it. So I want to make this rounded. 
want to do is to go I want and I want this to go on the inside of it and this one to go on the out, outside of it. Okay. Now I should I should found I should find the middle of our let's see where is the middle. So the middle is here so I need to drag this into okay. And now in this area I draw I'm going to select move press what this time you need to make sure you don't make the geometry revolt. So okay and now I'm going to generate perspective. I need to push and pull this to make it bigger. So I'm gonna make it two. I'm going on the ground floor. Okay, so what I need to make it is actually uh, another 50. So, point 0.5. Okay. What I want to do is Control Shift E, so I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to put it here. So this one needs to go. And after you rotate a duplicate, you go into Generic Perspective. And we're going to select these two modes. Right click, polygon operation, intersect. And as you can see, it kept only the intersection. Now we have a corner. And we're going to make four duplicates of it to make the other three. I'm going to ground four. And now it's only one morph, and I'm gonna Control Shift M to make a mirror of this object, and I'm gonna drag it because, as you can see, it's slightly bigger. And I'm gonna make the same thing. I'm I selected the both of them and Control Shift M. And I'm going to drag it by the line there. Now I selected all the four morphs we have on as a base. And I right click and volume operation union. So now I have only one morph as a base. And as you can see now we have a base for our column. What I want to do is usually to connect the both of them so I can have only one morph. So I select both both of them and right click volume operation union. Now you have only one morph. Another thing you can do is save it as an object and select it. Go to file libraries and objects. Save selection as object, select OK, and I'm going to name it column 001. Click on Save. OK, and then I'm going to Objects. And the last object we saved is going to be the one we the first one now. So there we go. We have an object that 
it's gone, we can change the material even when it's morph. But now I'm going to change it when it's material, when it's a uh, object. I'm going to make it. You can make it paint white. Make sure you activate it here. Or you can make it marble. Let's see where the marble. If you want to go further with the details on this column, I'm, I'm going to delete the object I just created because it kind of bothers me. So I want to make this... Sorry, I want to show you the picture that that... Okay. So I, I want to, the column to have these shapes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a circle just so I know oh I need to draw it in the middle so, okay, good. so let's make it a, a 10 I'm I'm drawing this just to see if it fits good I need to make another one Okay, now what I'm going to do, because I erased all the lines that I used before, I'm going to make a line to find the half of the... the half of the circle, because I'm going to need to multiply the circle here, but let's first... Okay, so the half is here. I'm going to make Ctrl Shift E it's to rotate it and I'm going to rotate it from the middle of the circle. Hope that's the middle of the circle because I have many objects here. Okay, and now I'm taking this circle. I can't delete this one. I'm taking this circle here and I right click, move, multiply, and I'm going to need to rotate it because I need to make multiple copies of this object but I want them distributed and I want, let's see um, I don't know how many I should make let's make 18 let's see how it works so what I'm doing, I'm going in the middle of the circle I'm going straight up and click so these are, I think it, it does look good, it's, I want to make all the circles red, so I select the, cir the circle here, Control A to select all of them, and make them red, I see them better. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a morph, but first I'm going to copy this so copy and I'm going to the section we made before which is here which is great <laughs> so paste it here it doesn't matter it's great whatever it is because what we're gonna do I'm gonna keep this circle just for the dimension I'm gonna make I'm going to make this polyline. Great. So now I'm going Okay. Please offset it. That's the tool I use. I'm going up. Let's see. I'm going to remain there. So now I'm deleting the circle because I don't need it anymore. Now I I make an arch finish here and an arch finish there. Okay. And I'm control D to drag it. I'm dragging this 
I hope it's above because I want to say it so. Okay. Control E because I want to rotate it a bit. So let's see. Okay, so I think it's bigger than I want it. It's fine, it's just I'm making this flat. If you want to make a round, an arch finish flat, you click on this and it makes it flat. And I'm going a bit down with this offset edge, and then I'm making again that rounded finish. Okay, that's me. Great. But you know what? Oh, I I should have made the half of it. Great. Now I'm going to grab a line from I hope I can from the half the circle. I hope I see the half. Great. Now it's good. I need to move it a bit outside of my model. And I now go to morph and for me to no, okay, I forgot. I want to make this revolve morph, so select the fourth one, revolve, then space the magic tool, practical magic tool, and click and then it's gonna make me choose the revolve line and I'm gonna make it 360 okay 360 and now I have a revolve more I need to go to general perspective to show you hi where are you It's on this side. So, this is gonna be a piece that's gonna make a hole in our map. Let's make it. Okay. So, I'm moving this. I prefer to put it here so I can. Control E to rotate it a bit to be as I want. So after I put the morph I just did here, I'm gonna go to perspective because I this is what I needed to check. I needed to check if it's I need to find it. So my sections here and the morph I just show it here. No, I need to move my section. Oh, I'm moving my section like this because I need to see where it intersects. It's fine. Let's put it. That's good. So, I'll Control D to. I want to put this point here on these lines here to make sure it intersects correctly. So Okay, now now it does look good. I'm going to ground floor and I selected this move and I'm going to do what I did before with the circles. So right click, move, multiply. Make sure it's the rotate action selected. I put 18 here, you can put lesser more whatever you choose and distribute which is going to make them distribute equally now I'm going to the center here I'm drawing a line up and there I have what I just made I'm going to generate perspective and now you see I have the object it's just that I need to make an action to make this holding here. So what I'm gonna do 
I'm going to select everything I have, which is going to be two objects. Well, not two objects, the main object and the ones I just draw. So, right click, volume operation, click, click subtract, and the one you're clicking on is the one you keep. So, let's see. Great, it looks really good. This is actually our column. I like it better this way with the details. You can choose not to have all the details because it does uh, overcharge your program. Yeah, so I'm going back to five. Oh, I just looked <laughs> for that. Going back to five. I do like to make it white, so glossy white. I prefer it that way. It looks more realistic to me. So select it. Go to File, Libraries and Objects, say Selection as Object, click OK, and I'm going to make it a column. Oh, OK. <laughs> I don't care about those bands, but yeah, I'm going to Object, and as I told you before, the last object that you saved is the one selected here and there you go this is slightly up which is good anyway, I'm gonna move this up great there you go I want to change the lines here. Make it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.